Hey guys, Ember Shade here. Good morning, or at least it's morning for me. This is going to be another episode of Tomb Raider. Let's dive in. Recap. I left us with Roth. He passed out from a leg wound and the wolf pack stole all of his goods. So we are on our way to get a backpack full of uh, valuable medicine that he's in need of. All right. Let's go. I think we're supposed to jump out of that cliff face. No. Okay. Oh, it's a chicken. I want to shoot the chicken. What? Oh, there he is. Oh, chicken for dinner. Hey, Rob. I got chicken. After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with. Interesting. She sounds like a very smart lady. Now you're just taunting me. Oh, 
I can... Okay. Okay. Why did you put that away? I want that back. That's all. Absolutely terrifying in a VR setting. I mean, it's pretty freaking scary as it is, but man. <laughs> Just jumpy. I'm gonna stop being so jumpy. Ah! Okay, I don't, I don't need to stop being jumpy. Ah! I'm leaving. Okay. Ah! laughter it's great Whew. I don't want any other doggos jumping out of the shadows <laughs> okay okay I think we're out no more fights okay cool I can't go up yet. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I kind of want to just jump and see if the water will carry me all the way down. But then a smarter part of my brain is like, nah. Something shiny on that roof. I want it. Oh, I want it. I got it. Eh, drop. Oops, wrong button. Don't judge me. Grab the 
bottom of those? Okay, that's sweet. I, I like that. I can't help but feel like there's more st stuff that I missed. just to make sure. Hmm, <sighs> doesn't look like I can... <coughs> doesn't look like I can get in there. Oh, there's a cash here too. And another one on that roof right there. But how do I get up there? I don't think I can until I can get through that building. Because that looks like the jump over there. Okay, we'll come back later. hang in there. I'm over here dilly-dallying while my friend over there is bleeding out. But it's, it's gonna be okay, because I brought chicken for dinner. young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. No pressure. All, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's happened my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura. Thanks for believing in me, dude. I love Roth and Laura. It is so sweet. I can climb this. Can I? I can!
Oh, that feels... <laughs> this feels really weird. <laughs> okay, but I can totally do that. That's awesome. Okay, so now I can get up these things. Jump sideways towards X surface. Okay. Whee! Okay, that's uh, that's risky. Okay. Am I supposed to go for that? up to a pole. Nice. Are there going to be doggos up here too? Please tell me now. Oh. The pathway splits. Oh, no it doesn't. tracks, all those climbs. It's as if he'd been preparing me for something like this all along. It's clear that there are people living here, and they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. But why? It's like some kind of cult. But a cult of what? What do they want? What are they looking for? Let's see if I can upgrade stuff now. No. Nope. That one's already done. Nah, I like what I got on. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Servants of the Sun Queen. There's more human cocoons over there. Gotcha.
Nice. All right. Oop. <laughs> this may have been built in honor of her priestesses. Incredible. Oh. What's in here? <gasps> Tells me though, this wasn't necessarily the way to the next map area. <laughs> it's okay, that was cool. I can't do that now. to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. The more I hear about this, uh, queen, the more I realize that she sounds like a pretty awesome person. 
As a ruler, it seems like she's ruling very well, because you need a healthy dose of both respect and fear. I need some coffee. One second. <clears throat> oh, coffee is so good. <laughs> Chills. Warm coffee in the morning. Makes you feel so good. <laughs> Game's terrifying.
Honestly, that seems like a really horrible idea. Just to charge at someone like that <laughs> who's behind cover. <laughs> yeah, the more I think about it, the more that just sounds stupid. He died because he was stupid, but that's what happened. I have a bad feeling about this. Telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. Oh, it's his voice. Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. He's cute, huh? He's very hey, cute. It's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. <coughs> And smarter than you'll ever be. Ouch. <laughs> she must must get that from her father. <laughs> Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. My father. <laughs> nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot at midnight. I should make grim. Time to button down the hatches. I be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. <laughs> Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, fam. Aww. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Can we take B-roll, please? That's a thing. Thank you. Hey, Sam. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... <laughs> cut! Ooh, cut! Don't cut! Cut your shot! Cut! cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Well, for now, Doc. The world renowned archaeologist, yeah, Dr. Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's a it's just a, it's a just a fish. <laughs> this guy really this overreacts. Damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, Shouldn't take make four. Him look like a blubbering idiot. Action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five years old. It was my first Aww. find. <laughs> You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well... Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? Hmm. I'll see you again. I love her and Ross' relationship. Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. I'm gathering that he kind of became a <clears throat> substitute father figure for her. Definitely the best support she's got. Well, maybe besides Sam. Hey! 
noticed <laughs> three people going down. Okay. Um, don't touch the light. Don't touch the light. Ooh, hide. Get down. Turned out worse than I expected. Whoa! I'm coming for you. It's okay, because I'm coming for you too. circulation sometime in the mid 19th century that's cool but maybe we don't reflect on that in the middle of a firefight let's go Shot, okay, it didn't happen. Revision. All the shots I miss, we don't talk about because they didn't happen. <laughs> I'm a god in my own mind, okay? Better or worse, I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. 
We are masters of this fucked up prison. Well, I agree with that. It definitely is effed up. <sighs> Alright, looks like I'm doing pretty good on the collections. That doesn't look healthy. Can I open this? No. Okay. Well, we'll go through the gassy area. the rats. Do I get it? Yes! Okay. That was cool. Better shot than I thought I was. looking toilet. No one leaves. Oh. Must have been one of these guys that lived down there in that little, uh... Man cave. Can I throw that through there? Yes, I can. Here. Yeah, not for long. Can you die quieter, please? I don't want to go back the way I came. Okay. I guess I'll... Please. <laughs> yeah, I 
can't. I can't. Go to hell. Well, at least you're not hurting. But yeah, go to hell. <laughs> Expedition field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial <sighs> surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. I'll grab this cash. So if I'm uh, learning anything, it's not to run at people with guns. Because all these people that do that, they're dead now. Okay. Well guys, I think I'm gonna end it here at this campfire. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, check out the description, I've got a link to my Discord and my new Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!